Welcome again friends, uh, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. There, these are ecological lectures uh, to help you out. Now we are talking about niche or niche whatever you say. Now we have seen earlier what is niche and what is the difference between a niche and a habitat. Right? Habitat means all the parameters and actually exactly where the organism live. That is the habitat, the whole thing including the biotic and abiotic factors. But while niche uh, is much more constricted, it means uh, the factors, all the factors that organism require to live and reproduce in a healthy way in a particular area. That is known as a niche. We also can call it as a functional area or a functional unit for an organism. And that includes abiotic factors, behavior of that organism and the food source of that habitat or the food nature of that organism. All these three things together we call it as a functional area or we call it as a niche. Now that is the ecological niche of that organism. So once you know that ecological niche means behavior, food habits and stuff. So we've talked about if we have two different organisms, organism A and B living together, living together. In that case, if they have same habitat but their niche are different, let us say an organisms are uh, living together but their food habits are different, their food source required different, their behavior is also different. So in that case, they do not end up with any kind of problem at all, they would not end up with any kind of competition at all. But if two organisms living together have same niche, that means they have same food source to depend on and also they have same behavior that means they, the food habits are also the same, the abiotic factors they require to survive also the same, in that case they may end up with a competition, right. Now every time when a competition arises, there are two options to fight against. One is that uh, there will be a fight between the organism and in that fight one will win, uh, the, the superior will win and the inferior will lose, the loser one will be extinct. On the other hand, they can end up with in the kind of mutual understanding by, by sacrificing or compromising some part of their habitat or some part of their niche and they can survive together in that environment. So here will we see that uh, in this case actually in this video we are going to talk about uh, details of niche and there are two types of niche that we know of. One is a fundamental niche, other one is a realized niche. So what are those stuff? Let us talk about it. The types of niche or we simply call it a fundamental niche and realized niche. These are the two types. So let us talk about it. It is the habitat part. Okay, so in this case of fundamental niche and realized niche concept, we are going to see the second thing. That means uh, the organisms are compromising some part of their niche so that both of the organisms can stay together in the same region. Okay, so let us see it. The example I can give you is a simple thing. Let us say, uh, okay. let us say it is a, it's a seashore and there are rocks present out there and <clears throat> this is water, I like it with blue, this is water, okay. And the water may come uh, in different height okay it may come in different height in high tides the water can come in that area in low tides the water remains in this area this is the rock in this rock region there are two types of snail species for example available these are the red snail species available here and there are another type of blue snail species available here Two types of snail species present in a particular area of seashore uh, in the sea rock area and water can come. So, so what kind of niche they should have here that both of them require water content, salty water uh, for the survival. They require all the minerals and food particles that are present in the salt water for their, for their health, uh, for their living. So the food source are the same, their behavior are the same, they require same type of temperature, same type of moisture content to grow and the food source is same. So abiotic factors are the same, behavior is that they will stick to this rock uh, and uh, they will get the food and all the nutrients from the running water. So their behavior is also the same, their food source is also the same. So here what we see these two species of snails, they have direct match in the niche, right. So if we have same niche and those two species want to stay together, they will either end up in competition uh, to fight against each other 
or what they will do they will uh, they will compromise some part of their uh, nature and then they will stay together now here what we see that they will uh, compromise some part of their thing and what is it let's say here in this red snails that we see here this red colored snails these snails actually theoretically can live in this whole area through the low tide region to the high tide region this complete area these red snails can live so if i put a state like this this is the whole area where the red snails can live okay so exactly in the area or the in the niche where an organism can belong theoretically known as a fundamental niche for that organism so here this red snail can belong or can stay in this whole niche that i draw so here this whole niche part for this red snail is known as the fundamental niche for this red one okay now similarly this blue snails as you see the blue snails are not doing anything the blue snails can live only up to this area only the high tide area they prefer only the high tide area okay so as they only prefer this high tide area right so this blue snails niche is only this part this is the part where the blue snails can live and this is the only niche for the blue snail but red snail theoretically can live in this whole area so this whole low tide to high tide region will be the fundamental niche for the red but this only high tide area is the fundamental niche for the for the blue snail okay so you know the fundamental niche for both of them so this is for fundamental niche for blue this is fundamental niche for red now this is the fundamental niche where exactly an organism can live now the now due to minimization of the competition now if they decide to minimize the competition between them to stay together to live together they will compromise some part of their niche and actually they live in very less compromised niche in the environment and that compromised area where that organism live in the environment is known as a realized niche and this is practical because theoretically this red snail can live through this area but this red snail is compromising some part of its niche so that other snail can live along with the red snail so here though this whole area is fundamental niche for the red snail but this low tide area this is the region which is a realized niche for the red snails so this is completely the fundamental niche for the red snail this part is a realized niche for the red snail so this red snail have two different varieties of niche and they are different but if we talk about the blue snails this is the only area which is fundamental niche for the blue snail and actually it can live and it is living in this area only so this is also the realized niche for the blue so in some organism in the in, in environment you will see the fundamental niche and the realized niche for them are the same no difference but in some other organisms the fundamental niche is much more the realized niche is less the realized niche means exactly practically what exact niche an organism belong while fundamental niche when an organism can belong right so that is the difference between fundamental niche and realized niche okay i hope you understand this video if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to my channel to get more videos like that and also stay tuned and share this video with your friends thank you